was highlighting some uh, forensic anthropology research that we were doing and I thought I'd uh, also give you guys a, a little preview of what we're working on here uh, with another student and that has to do with cast off stains. So uh, I did some work in that area a little while ago and one of the challenges when doing cast off stains, if you imagine you have this rod or some kind of a weapon and on the tip of it you'd have some blood, well when you swing the object, right, it's going to release some blood and then you could project it on a wall or uh, some other object. Well, one of the difficulties is knowing exactly where this rod is in 3D space. And so I've come up with a pretty simple solution and uh, it's using some uh, trackers uh, from HTC Vive. So what I've done is I've mounted a couple of these trackers on this rod. And we're going to swing this rod and then capture the motion of this using the HTV, uh, HTC Vive system. And so uh, we, what we do is we start off in a, a cradle that we've made. So I've just clamped it up on the wall here. But you can see I have this cradle. It's sort of like a, a home position that it sits in every time. Then we just pull it out. Uh, we're going to swing and then we're going to come back. And the reason we want to go back to this home position is I want to know if there's any drift or if there's any uh, issues with the tracker moving from the initial position until the final position. And so that might give us an indication on the kind of accuracy we have. So let me show you what it looks like once we uh, get it recorded. Okay, so the software that I'm using with the HTC Vive is obviously Steam and Steam VR, but I'm also using uh, something called Breckel uh, uh, Open VR Recorder, and this is just showing you that it records the the headset, the trackers, the controllers, and everything else. And so uh, let me uh, let me show you the website just in case anybody's interested. It's just uh, B R E. K E L Breckel.com, and if you go there, they have something called uh, Open VR Recorder, so you can have a look at that. And what I've done here is I brought all the motion uh, into uh, 3D Studio Max. So I've got um, I've got the motion here. I'll just let it play like that for you, and you'll see that I've got the uh, little rod with the two trackers on there moving, and basically it follows. The path and I've actually frozen the path or I've sort of extracted the path of motion uh, here on the screen by this uh, yellow spline. So I'll just let it run again and you'll see as we uh, move it around. Uh, I just recorded a small segment. You can see how it follows the path there. And I'll just stop that. I'll drag it back and forth so you can see. So this is what we're doing to record the motion and this sort of gives us our ground truth for where the tip of the rod is. And uh, I think it's a really useful uh, tool for recording motion uh, on a budget. Um, as you know, research doesn't always pay, but uh, if you get a little inventive, a little bit creative, you can do some pretty cool stuff. So uh, once we project all the blood stains on this surface, this is laser scan data. So I've scanned this with a ferro uh, laser scanner data, and I basically combined the two together and aligned them. And so I have a good uh, idea of where all this uh, uh, stuff comes together. So uh, that's just a quick uh, look at what we're doing and once we get more results with blood stains and that sort of thing I'll keep you posted on what happens.